all oh, feeling oh, so fresh, feeling so fresh, ready to uh, uh, make a feast out here for us to enjoy. Because, you know, they say that the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. And that is so true for me and I think for Katlejo as well and for many other men out there. So today we're going to be uh, making a really, really delicious ultimate steak burger. You wow. ready for this one? Yes, I am okay, indeed. Let me just cool. get my apron get on. Get your apron on. The ingredients are super quick and super easy to make and assemble as well, which is fantastic. You don't want it to be complicated. I'm going to take you through it. So we've got some spinach over there. Lovely. We've Swiss got chart. some uh, uh, green peppercorn there. Oh, lovely. Some uh, cream mm -hmm. as well as some butter. That's for our sauce. That's the first step. So okay. do you want to hoist some butter in the pan for okay, us? Here we go. These, so the, the, the pans are very hot. I yes. can, can, you, feel, can you feel the, the heat can you from feel the, the top. Heat? So mm. this will be going quite quickly. Definitely. So while, while the butter is going there, what's next for me? So the next thing you throw in is your spinach that we've cut up, obviously, into like, uh, you know, nice little... Yeah, you've chopped it up. Just, just, just it a rough up. chop. Nice uh, rough chops on there that's going in there. Okay, good, here and we go. then you throw in your uh, cream. The cream as well. Cream. Do we let them wilt down first or can we go straight in with the cream? Just a little bit, yeah, just, yeah, just a little bit. Just give them a bit of heat. Give let me just see how we're doing. It's a medium heat. Uh, uh, let me just find my coordinates about which one I'm at so we can raise the yeah, temperature there we go. a the little temperature bit. The temperature is rising. Get the cooking process to go a little bit faster. And I can, can already hear, hear the sizzle. The sizzle has just intensified really, really a little bit. Well. Okay, um, so that's going to happen. You're going to let that go on and wilt it nicely. Uh, get your cream in there once that's done. Yeah, I think I think there's an As even spread of more heat time, right now. So no, no, no worries. Let's oh, okay. go straight in with the cream. Cream. Oh, man. Cream. I that, love when I see cream wilt. go into a pan because like you, you, you know you're halfway uh, into the recipe with most recipes. So I'll leave that do its thing. When do we go with the peppercorns? Uh, the peppercorns will go straight afterwards Okay. because you want them to go in there long enough so that the flavor of it just like bursts into uh, this pan. So you can okay. throw in your uh, peppercorns. Green peppercorns in. Good. What's in next? Yeah? Fantastic. The next thing you're going to do is I'll help you with this one. It's just like sprinkle some uh, oil over your steak. You don't want to put it on your griddle pan because you don't want it to obviously um, over burn. smoke or to burn. And you also um, don't want to add too much of it because once mm. you have it on the on the, the actual piece of meat itself, you can actually tell how, how much, much you, you have. Got. Exactly. That's important. So this is happening right now. What I'm going to need you to do for us is just take the piece of steak and then put it onto the griddle pan. Are you sure you've actually put on oil? I have. I have put it's on just oil. Like, Do you see it? Is it not enough for you? No, it's, it's all right. It's yeah. all right. Uh, did you put on either side or no, just no, the no, one just, side? Just the one side. So you only put on just the one the side? Just the one side and then you can okay. just do that. I'll just let it dance a little That's bit. It. Dance on um, that. And because we're using a griddle pan, it's nice and hot. And especially exactly. if you want your, your meat to be nice and, yeah. um, and kind of put tender on, that on the one inside. Uh, if you want it nice and tender on the inside, uh -huh. then ideally you want to kind of let it rest on that one side, right? Yeah. Until it has um, formed uh, the griddles or the, oh. the shape of the griddles, the pattern so on the meat. So don't just quickly the trick is for it get to rest, into it. To rest. Yeah. So let while that's going thing. on uh, over there, you just obviously just want to make sure that your sauce, which we're making there with the spinach, the spinach and uh, uh, peppercorn. Uh, is all nicely mixing. And you can see it there. bubbling on top already, so oh, the heat is really getting really to all of the elements yes. over there. So What I like about the peppercorn is obviously that it's going to be like, you know, it's going to be popping when you're eating. You know what I yes, mean? Yes, that's, that's going to be so good. That's so, so that's good. So good. So that's going to go on. Mm -hmm. Once you're done with your steak, obviously you'll have your steak however, you know, to, to, to your desires, if you like medium well, uh, however you like it, basically. Yeah. Uh, you want to make sure that you take some um, uh, uh, mushroom, mushroom can I put, put that on as well? oil over it, a little bit of oil over it, and you can throw it onto the same griddle pan so it all goes at the same time, uh, if you want to save time. This is really what top I refer bottom, to yeah? as, yeah, top and bottom, please. This is a time saver recipe. Uh, that's what Nicole, our kitchen fairy, told me. This then is it a comes out looking like that. Huh? It comes out looking like this, and this is what your obviously your steak will look like once you've chopped it up into pieces. Now it's off to the assembly. My favorite part. Uh, we're gonna throw on. Um, obviously you basically this. try and make it look like that with the beautiful yeah, sauce. Yeah, pretty much. Right, uh, listen. You're gonna get some steak. We've run out of time. We have. It's time for us to get going. Thanks yes. so much for watching, Mikey. Mike, hope you're good over there. Enjoy the cut, my brother. And thank you very much for joining us on another live broadcast of the Midday Show. We'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning. Have a wonderful day. Make someone smile. Bye.